Hey, Texas Cat here from Retro Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at the Zelda collection. This is a Zelda figure from First Four Figures with a card. We got some figures here. We got Sheik. We got some Amiibos, and we got a melting bead. Now this one, the stand of the heart was for your life and it's just a stand. It means nothing. So, Zola and this was from Link to the Past. And without further ado, on to Wind Waker. Wind Waker, you can tell the hair is yellow, bright yellow, and the tiara has a pink gem. Unlike this one, it's blue, and this is pink. That tells me it's a whole entirely different Zelda, and that the name must be passed from generation to generation, having the same name. Now, this Zelda is pretty different. There, In every Zelda, there's a secret power that Ganon must want so bad to where he's trying to get her to get that power. Now, without further ado, on to Breath of the Wild, and I also have... Wind Waker on a necklace, and Breath of the Wild, I have it on a necklace too. Now, this one tells me she likes to travel a lot. You barely see her in a dress at all. Only at the end you do, and in the memories. But she travels a lot by her outfit. Telling me that she has a Shika, I mean, a Shika slate in her hand, that tells me that she must be related to it or have gotten that passed down. Wait, how can she be related? That's my question to Zelda. Or Nintendo. But, anyways, she did give it to Link, I know that for sure. And telling me, because she said in the game, you have been asleep for a hundred years, tells me that he, Link was in the Shrine of Resurrection for over maybe a hundred years. But the king tells you whenever you are um, on the top of the uh, time, uh, temple of time that she had went to face Ganon alone. And that tells me she's been holding up her power for nearly a hundred years. No wonder her power got exhausted. Now on to over here. Which this is Sheik. No one also has Zelda and Ocarina of Time. Now she gave the ocarina to Ink so that he could pass through time and she was actually disguised as Sheik so that she could stay away from Ganon. Or exactly hide from Ganon to make sure Ganon wouldn't notice that that is Zelda. Now on to this one which is exactly the same as the statue. It's from Twilight Princess as you should know and in this one, in the game you notice that under a cloak you see Zelda. I thought it might have been Impa, but still a surprise. It's Zelda in the tower. Basically, once again, Ganon is trying to get her power. But yet, yeah, in the end, basically, Zelda lends Link the Bow of Light to help defeat Ganon. Which, I think, Zelda should just used to her so because she can aim much better. Yeah. Moving on to Skyward Sword. Which I think is pretty cool because, once of all, I love the fact that they're floating on an island. It's very fascinating how they did that. Now, for some reason, um, this creature wants Zelda, and I forgot his name, but anyways, he wants Zelda, and he wants the goddess that's hidden within her. I don't know why the goddess wants to be in Zelda, but wants to be in Zelda. So whatever. But anyways, at the beginning, you get a letter from Zelda, and a bird delivers it and wakes you up. That tells me that you're pretty bad at waking up. And Zelda helps you a lot. Now over to this one, which I'm going to pick up. And from Phantom Hourglass or... As you might know, Wind Waker. The heart, I don't know why it's there. But this one, she never knew she was Zelda, but then all of a sudden she turns into this. Yeah. She has a weapon because she used to, because she was on a pirate ship 
doing pirate stuff, doing treasure. Then all of a sudden, someone came along and tried to take her. Now in Phantom Hourglass, I believe that it might have been the ghost ship, or was that in Wind Waker? Okay. Wind Waker, you have like a baton, and like a whole different story. Yeah. But on to this figure from First Four Figures. I can tell that she's the same as this, but she's much more detailed. She has a sword. A sword, yes. The detail on her face means to tell me that she is much better than this one. And also, this thing underneath her kind of tells me that she's in the light realm, not in the realm of the twilight. You know, the twilight realm. And the post behind me, twilight realm, realm of light. It's very simple. Plus, basically the exact same thing I said for that one is happening with here, except more detailed. And on the back, I might want to turn her. <laughs> it's hard to do. Um, uh, be, be, beware the sword. Beware. But on the back, on this one, you see there's marks. Some marks like chest, not chest marks, but thing to keep the dress up. Which is entirely different from that one. So yeah, that's basically it for Zelda, for me. We'll see you next time with Link. Bye.